What an amazing time I've had here at Malmsten Furniture Studies in Stockholm, arriving yesterday with Tormek. It's always it's a bit like going to any, any place you haven't been before, you don't know what's in front of you, but a fantastic centre with some incredible artists and craftsmen doing some work I've never even dreamt about before. The students and the whole staff in general have been very welcoming and enjoyed every minute of it. It's amazing what your hands do. You just take them for granted. There's so many things you do with your fingers and hands. And it's important if you're watching anybody work that you don't just watch what the tool is doing. Watch how they stand. Watch the hands. It's all important. Is it like this? Maybe it's not so good unless it's necessary. Today we had Nika Garda was, uh, visiting us and giving us a workshop on wood turning. And uh, Nika Garda showed me how to get the right angle and the right height and the right movement to have some perfect cuts and like perfect shavings flying in the air. It was real fun to uh, have a close encounter with wood turning in the wet wood. Nice to have a real master showing you the good techniques. It's a natural progression. Um, wanting to have the tool remain sharp. If you were driving your car and the performance started to degrade, you would do something about it. So it's the same thing when you're using a sharp edge tool. Okay, I'm back. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 1. So I'm going to make my hand look like it is the cutting edge. If my hand is here, it's a sheer angle. And if it is flat, it's a scrape on the moving surface. So if, if, the edge of, if this is the edge that cuts, this is a scrape. And I'm going to bring it up at an angle so I get a sheer cut. And the shaving will be different between the two. If I can get the shavings out of my mouth. <laughs> Making sure that there's a clear avenue down here is also very important. So, remove this out of my way. Now, I have space here to work at the bottom of the bowl. And you would practice on the bottom third to start with. So, here we go. And I can slowly build the shape I want. And with a sharp edge, I can actually go back down the hill. So if I have a bump I don't like, I can, instead of trying to cut it away, I can take the edge and I can shear it away. So it's a very fine shaving. When you have tools this sharp, you'll actually be able to hear the difference as well as notice the difference of the cut and see the difference. It's a crisp hiss a kind of crisp sound that comes from the tool whilst it's cutting the wood. And it becomes a craving after a while, and you'll learn when the tool is starting to lose its edge, not only by feel, but by what you're hearing. Of course, it depends on the surface you're cutting over, but it's actually a really nice thing to look out for. It's going to take practice to realise when you need to go and sharpen. Uh, of course, when it stops cutting, it's blunt but it's often a good idea to go and just hone and polish the edge back to its sharpness without having to go to the stone. And after some practice, that will become something you just learn. It's a natural progression, um, wanting to have the tool remain sharp. So now it's time to move on from the wonderful Karl Malmsteen um, school here in Stockholm and I leave for Spain in the morning. Thanks for joining me and see you next time I guess.